Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be doing my January wrap up and February TBR. Now I know I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while and I apologize for that but for the past few months I have been in a bit of a reading slump and I haven't had really that much time to read but this month even though I had midterms I kind of worked and tried to make sure that I read a lot so now I'm going to get started. The first book that I read in the month of January is Animal Farm by George Orwell and this is a very well-known classic. It is kind of a satirical piece about the dangers of communism. George Orwell kind of compares communism to animals living on a farm and I thought that this book was just absolutely brilliant. I thought it was amazing, so well written. I've read George Orwell's other famous book 1984 and I love that book as well. That is one of my favorite books. I think I like that one better but I think this book just accomplishes everything that it is supposed to and it is just such a brilliant thought-provoking book. I gave this book a five out of five stars. Next I read Slammed by Colleen Hoover and this is actually a reread for me. Colleen Hoover is one of my favorite authors. This book is about a girl named Lake and she is forced to move to Michigan after her father's death and when she moves she's really not excited about it but then she meets her next door neighbor Will and on their first date they go to a poetry slam and sparks fly but then something happens and Will and Lake cannot be together and this book is just so much more than your typical contemporary. It's filled with so much heart and depth and this book just destroyed me emotionally. I give it five out of five stars, one of my all-time favorite contemporaries. And I also think this is a very good book if you're kind of looking to get into new adult literature. So the third book that I read this month is Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. This is the second book in the Slammed trilogy, I believe that it, this is called. And this book takes place a year after the events of the first book, Slammed. I'm not really going to go into the summary because that's a bit of a spoiler. I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. Now that I think about it, I think that may have been too high of a rating. I really enjoyed this book. It just destroyed me emotionally, which is what I really enjoyed about it. Although I did think that it kind of added some unnecessary drama. And while I don't think this is necessary book in the series. I think that this series would have been just fine if it was just slammed as a standalone. Although I did really enjoy this. I know people kind of have some mixed opinions of it. I gave this book, as I said, five out of five stars. Next I read The Bookbusters January Pick of the Month and that is For Real by Allison Cherry. In case you guys don't know, I am a member of a group called Bookbusters. Every month we pick a book, read it, talk about it, and do a live show on it. And this was the month for January. As always, I will link the group down below. This book is about a girl who named Claire and her sister Miranda has recently been cheated on by her boyfriend so they decide to go on a reality show to kind of get back at him and I thought this book was okay. It There was nothing particularly great about it. I liked it. I just didn't really like any of the characters and I thought the ending particularly was just very lackluster and it wasn't bad, it just wasn't good either. I gave this book two and a half out of five stars. Next is another reread for me and that is Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. I absolutely adore Sarah Dessen. She is one of my favorite authors. I've read all of her books and this one is one of my favorites of hers. It's about a girl named Annabelle and she recently had a very traumatic event happen to her and she's really having some trouble getting over it and she meets this guy named Owen who is obsessed with music and that kind of helps her get over what happened to her. I think this is a phenomenal book. If you're really interested in kind of issue-based contemporaries, definitely pick this up. The story and the writing are fantastic. I love the characters and I love the music element of it. I think this is my third or maybe even my fourth time reading this book and every time I read it I find something new that I enjoy about it and I gave this book five out of five stars. Next I read Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. This is a new fantasy series. This is set in a kingdom where there are many uh, lands based on different seasons. There's spring, winter, summer, and fall. And one of the nations invaded the other and there's a lot of chaos going on. 
I thought this book was okay as well. I thought the main character was interesting, but my main issue with this book was there was a very unnecessary love triangle, and I felt like that really hindered some character development. I felt like because of the love triangle, neither of the love interests were developed particularly well, and I thought this was a shame because I really liked one of the love interests. So this book is okay. I don't really think I'm going to continue on with the series, although I know a lot of other people that really enjoy this book and I gave this book a three and a half out of five stars. And last but not least is actually my favorite book of the month and that is Looking for Alaska by John Green. So if you've been on my channel for a while you probably know that I am not the biggest fan of John Green. I read The Fault in Our Stars, wasn't a huge fan. I tried to read Paper Towns and I couldn't finish it. So when I picked this up I was like okay what's gonna happen and I actually really loved this book. This book is about a guy named Pudge and he goes to a boarding school and he's not a particularly social person but when he goes there he makes some friends and they are not the best people. They all kind of have their own flaws and they do drink and do drugs so just a warning if you're not a fan of that stuff maybe be cautious of this book and Pudge is kind of trying to figure out the meaning of life I guess and I just again I love this book I felt like for me it was just very personal some of the struggles that the characters go through are struggles that I have been through and I thought even though I was spoiled for the end of this book I thought it was handled very well and I felt like it wrapped up very nicely this is definitely my favorite John Green book so if you're not a really big fan of John Green maybe check this one out and you might enjoy it like I did now I'm going to get to the books that I plan to read in February. My February TBR as of right now is kind of very loose. I'm not really sure what I'm going to read. The only books that I am sure that I'm reading is I Was Here by Gail Foreman, which is one of my favorite author's new books, so of course I have to read it. And I Was Here is the story of a girl whose best friend commits suicide, and she kind of has to figure out why she did it. I've heard some really good stuff about this book, and I know I'm going to love it. The other book that I really want to read is Ferris by Marissa. Meyer. This is the next book in the Lunar Chronicles series, which is a series of futuristic sci-fi retellings, and this is told from the villain Queen Lavana's point of view. Really excited to read that as well. Otherwise, I'm probably going to end up reading a contemporary romance for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure which one yet. I may reread an old favorite or start something new. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys have read any of these books or let me know what books you guys plan to read in February. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.